popular YouTube animator Squizzy, who also goes by her real name Hyojin, has been in a plethora of controversies, one of their most notable ones being when they pushed verifiably false allegations against another YouTuber Slazo, and most recently has been accused of physically abusing her ex-boyfriend, who is another YouTuber called Punk Duck. I read out all of the allegations and proof he showed in my last video on this topic, so today I'm going to exclusively look at the Twitter reactions. If you want more context to what's going on, I highly recommend you watch that previous video first. But you can probably guess what the consensus on all of this is, as this first response from Colossal is Crazy reads out, <laughs> ACTUALLY PSYCHOTIC! Cookie Blobber responds to him by saying, maybe laughing about that isn't a good idea, to which Colossal responds, ha ha ha, this is what you focus on? Me typing a few extra H's and A's? Heard about this shit ages ago, and if you knew all the other stuff she's done, you'd be laughing too at this point. JFJ says, remember, abuse can happen to anyone, make sure to seek help when necessary. Sav says, honestly, after the Slazo thing, I lost all respect for Hyojin, and after reading through this, it's sad to say I'm not all too surprised. I'm so sorry you had to go through all this punk. We love ya, and we're here for you. It takes a lot of courage to put your story out there. Repsion says, I'm so sorry. Know that you were not alone in this experience. Nobody deserves stuff like this. Stay strong. Fatu Barbara shows the text messages where Hyojin says that punk duck can't be assaulted by them because they are a foot shorter than him and captions it by saying, yeah, I was waiting to see this at least once. Fishy-ish responds to it by saying, I dated a girl who treated me like this sometimes. Like she would throw my own size and power in my face when I came to her about how scared I was of her when she was angry. It really puts you on your back foot. I don't think I can date short girls anymore. Xander the alien responds to this by saying, This is what female abusers typically do. They use this excuse when in reality, the reason men don't defend themselves in these situations is both because of emotional vulnerability as well as not wanting to deal with the headache of having it turned on them and being called the abuser. Danny Boy responds to the allegations by saying, Actually, going through the files, it's incredible how clearly you were really wanting to make things work, even though things were so terrible. I truly do believe Hyojin's apology to you, but it's still good you were brave enough to share your story. I hope this helps others to be honest. Ice Spain the Fox responds to him by saying, as a victim of abuse, the apology is nothing more than empty words used to try to manipulate the victim into letting them back in. Never believe an abuser's apology. They'll do it again and next time it could end worse. Dubis Gubis responds to the allegations by saying, this behavior is not acceptable. This isn't easy because I've been getting close to Hyojin recently as a friend, but but I can't in good faith ignore this. No one deserves to be treated like that, and I'm sorry. Kyle Satwan responds to him by saying, I'm sorry I sent you the tweet so you had to see this. It's good that you were responding to this, but please do not beat yourself up for not knowing before. They've done well in sweeping it under the rug, so don't blame yourself for not being aware. Take care of yourself, dude. Hank Steele says, I really wish I had that image that says, niche internet micro celeb I don't like now has a valid reason for me to dislike them. Wasabi then responds to him with the requested meme. Matt reacts to the allegations by saying, content warning, abuse. This text is super telling to me as an abuse victim, as it's usually one of the main signs. Dismissing your partner's abuse because it wasn't as bad is not something to do. I'm glad you're healing now. He then shows the text where Hyojin obviously says that their abuse is worse than what they did to Punk Duck. JV responds to Punk Duck by saying, isn't this the second time they are outed by an ex-partner? Or maybe it was something else before. Zintadin responds by saying, yeah, I think it was with Pyro last time. Sizzle responds, did Pyro ever speak about his relationship with her post breakup? Vivian responds by saying, nope, and honestly, it's pretty understandable why. Reading through all of this, poor guy must have been through hell with her. Fishing Rod responds by saying, honestly, Pyro was really private about stuff, so he probably didn't want to bring too much attention into it. Simspeak responds to Punk Duck by saying, I feel like she's going to either 1. Ignore it the most she can, or 2. Not take it seriously, if she even makes an apology. Fishing Rod responds by saying, just give it to years and everyone will forget about it, and she will still have a platform. Oh, and the forced suicide bait. That's always a treat. Glorious Monolith Enjoyer 905 responds by saying, if she pulls the death 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 bit again, I'd fucking laugh. At that point, maybe, you know, I would never wish harm upon another human being. After all this drama, she isn't a fucking human being. MOXD responds to Punk Duck by saying, damn, sorry you had to go through that shit, dude. Time to update the Wikitubia page, I guess, showing that the controversies listed for Hyojin on that page are are the Slazo situation, animal abuse accusations, toxicity, racism and slurs, and a pedophilia accusation. David responds to Punk Duck with this Twitter video captioned, me after seeing that another cool animation YouTuber got into drama and turned out to be a horrible person.
Nicholas Diorio quote tweets the allegations and says, Heojin's ex just released a tweet longer accusing her of being an abuser. She was instrumental in the false pedophile accusations made against Slazo in 2019. Interesting piece of lore, Squizzy previously dated Pyro before Punk Duck. It was once reported that she cheated on Pyro with Dolan Dark. The reason for this mix up is that Dolan's avatar was a duck, like Punk Duck. No idea if the cheating part was true though. I'll probably do a more opinionated stream in a few days. I think just reporting an accusation was made is the most responsible thing for tonight. If true, there is a lot of noteworthy stuff to mention in here. Lots to speculate on. Would love to chat with Punk Duck. Cool Robot Arm responds to Nick by saying, This is the most tone death vulture ass bullshit, lol. Lots to speculate on, like it's a smash reveal. This wasn't to single this one guy out by the way. This is about the commentary community in general. They are all vultures, lol. Nicholas Diorio responds by saying, yeah, laughing my fucking ass off. The girl who helped orchestrate one of the biggest false allegations I've ever seen is getting accused of being abusive. This is obviously a massive deal, and if you have a problem with me covering it, slash how I cover it, you can fucking cry, loser, laughing my fucking ass off. Matter Red quote tweets Punk Duck and says, the cutesy animator slash artist with quirky stories and a very soft simplistic style to horrible person backstabbing snake and manipulative abuser pipeline. Neff says, this is like the 11th thing that's come out about Squizzy. Unsurprising, but let's please make this the nail in her coffin. Stuff like this has been coming out for years. Don't let someone so dangerous keep their platform so easily. Kim says, Yojin drawing their 100th animation meme video two seconds after they threatened their boyfriend at knife point. Clay says, this shit is horrifying and all too common. I don't know how Yojin slash Squizzy's just been allowed to get away with this shit for so long. Sex Microwave says, Damn, who would have thought Squizzy would turn out to be an abusive asshole after the whole false rape allegations aimed at Slazo years ago? Seriously, why do people still follow and support her, laughing my ass off? She very publicly outed herself as a horrible person ages ago. Tippity says, Takes guts to lay all of this out, especially with a past abusive partner so well known slash generally respected. Hope you're okay and Godspeed. Rooting Around says, Female abusers trying to explain punching you isn't really abuse because they're a foot shorter than you. Jay says, Hyojin slash Squizzy is an abuser. They physically harmed their partner in anger and told them that it was their fault for not stopping them. Don't try and defend them for this. I was abused too. Is never a good reason to harm anyone or to disregard somebody else's abuse. Fortune says, Reminder that this isn't the first time someone's come out about Squizzy being an abusive partner. Far from it. I mean, for fuck's sake, 90% of their Wikitubia page is dedicated to controversies. Sunny says, I, I have no words. I remember when me and Hyojin talked briefly when I came out about my abuse, and they were comforting me for a moment, and said they knew what it was like to deal with abuse, yet in the background had been doing this to the person they claimed to love. Emiya says, Yojin is a terrible person, from the Slazo shit to their racist behavior, and now them being outed as an abuser. How long is it gonna take y'all to realize this bitch is NOT a good person? Star says, wow, apparently people who say shit like this are horrible, showing a discord message from Hyojin that says, no you stupid fucking n-word, fuck you piece of shit, you are the worst person I I've ever spoken to. I hope you fall in the toilet, you backwards ass eating, self human centipede, n word looking ass, Canadian beaver teeth looking ass, shithead, get a life in the sewers, and make a living off drinking the cancer leaking out of your own colon, love tunnel, you dirty sand n word. Epic Funny Name says, Always rubbed me the wrong way how she faced pretty much no pushback for the Slazo bullshit. Hopefully, now the consequences stick. Silly Old Elliot says, This is my comment on it all. I've written this over and over again, figuring out what I should say. All I can really say is, this is why we stopped being in videos after so long after building up what we did with her both on her second and main channel. This made me feel intense anger and resentment towards her. I felt like I had wasted my time and had nothing left to be excited for, as it felt and still does sometimes feel like all mine and Grolixic's work had been for nothing. This has not been easy for anyone. Both Ed and friends have suffered because of this, and I'm sorry about all of it. I've already had this conversation with Ed, but I'm sorry to you for having no clue that this had happened, or was occurring at the time. And had I knew, I would have done or said something. All I can really hope for now is for Hyojin to take this as a lesson, and face those parts of themselves that they've left unchecked for so long, and truly find the right kind of help. As they said to me not so long ago they would. I will say this, I have seen goodness in her. She has been good to both me and a lot of her friends. This is not an excuse for the awful things she's done. However, I will not pray for her downfall, or let my anger of the wrong she has done blindside me to wishing pure ill will and malice towards her, as I feel that is far too common nowadays 
nowadays with these sorts of events, and especially in how I would normally react to such a situation. But I've known her a long time. I hope she gets the help she needs, and becomes better as a result. As in the end, we should all strive to do and be better. Colossal then responds by saying, UNLUCKY! Rad is fired says, I've given money to this person. To which Clown says, UNLUCKY! Taff9 says, Am I too nice? Do I give people too many chances? To which Colossal responds, UNLUCKY! Richard says, I've dropped my gig with her, but Grawlix and Silly Old Elliot are looking for work. If any YouTuber or streamer are interested in Twitch highlight editors, don't hesitate to hit them up. Colossal responds, UNLUCKY! Please Burger responds to Colossal's initial response to the allegations by saying, Most normal sane reaction to an account of abuse. Dude is jerking the hell off to this on main. Colossal responds, YUP! UNLUCKY! Please Burger responds, Fuck me, turf friendology is real. To which Colossal responds, You just spent the last 20 minutes googling me because you got upset I replied to your tweet with unlucky. UNLUCKY! Colossal then updates his ongoing crying thread about Eogen with the statement that Punk Duck gave. Dog.biz responds to him by saying, This isn't even the first time they've been outed as a shit person, but for some reason they keep being forgiven. Hopefully this is enough to get them punted off their platform for good. Colossal responds, I'm just watching all the orbiters and God Defenders finally fly the coop, and it's so funny. Hyojin's highlight Twitter account then tweets out, I'm not funny, my art is shit, and I'm a complete fucking psychopath whore. To which Colossal, of course, responds with UNLUCKY! So this account is Hyojin's Twitter account, but it hasn't posted in years, so either Hyojin logged back into it to self-deprecate, or one of her former friends had access to the account and decided to tweet this out. Regardless of who made this, this account quote tweeting Punk Duck and saying, here's a new highlight for you, you, is the closest thing we've got into an official response from Yojin. But if we ever get a more proper response, I'll be sure to update you guys with a new video on this channel. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.